Hello Gemini and welcome to your reading for May 2020. We're going to be tuning into two decks for you today to see what's coming in for the overall energy of this month. If you're a twin flame or if you're single, there's also going to be videos for you, so check those out. But this is your general reading for May. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here to all of you watching. Subscribe and join the family because we're here for you every day. Okay, then I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot and we're going to use just the Major Arcana to find out what the big things are going on in May. And we're going to use the Angel Dreams Oracle to really see what the angels want you to know. So thank you, angels. What are all the Geminis going through, please, during May? What do we need to know during May? What guidance have we got, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. What do we need to know? I do feel straight away, Gemini, that you're going to be dreaming a lot more. You know, you're going to be more in tune with your dreams, your emotions, you know, setting intentions, setting visions, thinking about what you want. So I feel there's a lot of power energy coming in during May. So I'm going to put an anchor spread out for you. They're also blocking throat chakra a little bit. So <clears throat> there may be delays in communication or being able to speak your truth, okay? But you have to keep the faith because there's so much happiness around you. You know, great things are coming in. And the angels are saying to me, as long as you're grateful this month, you're going to see the blessings just flow in. You're going to feel high. You're going to fly high. Because the more grateful you are, the more doors will open. And things will start to appear. You know, when there's walls there, when you're grateful, the universe makes doors for you so that you can walk through those walls, so you can remove them to build in a better future. So, so much to be grateful for here. And it's because you're a powerful warrior. You know, if you're a divine feminine, this is showing you who you are. But you're a nurturer, you're loving, you're kind, you're generous, you're caring. And, you know, you're ready to face whatever gets thrown in your way. So whatever chaos is going on around you this month, any obstacles, rise above it and know who you are that you are strong and powerful, that the more you give, the more you receive, that when you're tuned in with you, magic starts to flow in. And we've got the orange there for creativity and for change. So there's going to be some changes coming into your life this month. And these changes will affect you creatively. You know, maybe you're being guided towards a new job, a new career, a new project, to be more creative about who you are, to tune into who you are to make changes that now serve your soul. And it may be a bit scary. You know, it may throw in some challenges, some obstacles, some walls. But you're strong enough and powerful enough to remove them when they come and to mould them and change them into opportunities so that the doors can appear in those walls and move you forward to where you're meant to be. So make sure whatever's coming at you in May, you're remaining positive and happy and strong and you know who you are, that change is good. It may be a bit scary, but it always leads to a better future. And that's because you've got a new beginning coming in. So you know all this. You know you're ready. You're ready for this fresh start. You're ready for this fresh energy. You're ready. You're feeling good. You're flying free. You're ready to move into the unknown, to take a risk right now, to bring in a new beginning completion. So this is about raising your vibration, feeling good, seeing things from a different perspective positivity flowing in, you know, seeing that there is a better future. The angels just keep saying to me to say to you, there's a better future coming. You know, you're going to be moving forward. I feel there's going to be a lot of travel coming in as well. You know, this is the dress rehearsal. And the angels are saying there's an alternative course and choices. So it's another card about change, about moving up the staircase of life. It feels like everything you've done to this point is a dress rehearsal. And now it's time for the show because, you know, there's a completion phase going on in your life. You're moving forward. There's this amazing energy of a new beginning coming in and it all starts now. You'll be traveling forward in your life. So there's travel coming. It may not necessarily be in May because of everything that's going on globally. But I definitely feel that you're going to be planning some things, thinking about the future, you know, moving up to the next level. And I feel you've got great love coming in as well. And they're giving me the sun there as well for happiness. You could see there as the sun and you could see there as the moon. So it's whatever resonates with you. And this is about the power 
you know, seeing the future. You can see it in a rejuvenating way or you can see it through illusion. Which path are you taking right now? You know, what are you doing right now to really move forward towards the life of your dreams? Release negativity, release fear, you know, release doubt. And if there's no communication, you have to remember that you are a light being, which means you can communicate in other ways through telepathy, telepathy through music, the power of the three, which means the trinity, you know, heaven, the divine, and you and whoever you're communicating with, whether that be a lover, a friend, or a family member. Trust in who you are and release fear. Let go of fear, it doesn't serve you anymore. It's illusion. It means false experience appearing real. It doesn't serve you or your energy. Why? Because you're a creator. You know, you're a manifester, you're stronger than all of that. So you can control your life now by taking control now, realizing that all the tools are inside of you now, your psychic abilities, your intuition, turning on your heart light, remembering who you are. And that will bring in love and passion and expansion and all the things you want. So a really powerful month in May for you, as long as you embrace the change with an open heart and mind and you see the truth, that obstacles are illusion, that when the obstacles seem to be there, the walls seem to be there, maybe it's because you're being guided to another way, you know, you're being guided in a different direction or maybe it's because the obstacles are being removed to put walls, you know, the walls are there so that the doors can come in. So remove the walls, know who you are, get ready for this change, you've got a great future ahead, there's so much to be grateful for, happiness, joy and love. So I feel it's going to be a month of creation, a month of tuning in with your dreams and a month to know that you've been through the dress rehearsal, you know, you've been through all of that, now it's the time for the show. So be the lead in your own show take control, get ready for this new beginning, no matter what chaos or fear or illusion comes in or doubt or worry, you are stronger than all of that because you're a powerful strong person, you've got the passion going for you, the love, the creativity, the happiness, the joy and you're ready for a new world, so bring it in, you're the magician, do it today. No more time for waiting, do it today, take control, stand strong, know who you are and remember, you're surrounded by angels, you are loved beyond measure, measure. the angels have got you and you've got this. So if you get tongue tied this month, if you know you can't get your words out, you're the magician, you can create anything baby, so do it. Have a beautiful month, sending you lots of love and I'll see you soon.